Welcome back, it's time for yet another hero quest. Um, that's one way to get around the ocean. A Veronis? What's it doing here? Doesn't look like it's after us, somehow. Wanna follow? Even better, let's make a big sign saying, We're idiots, please shoot us. You what? Give it a rest, Lance. So, what's the plan, Noah? Right. Since it's a Pharonis, it'll doubtless have a bunch of people enslaved to a flame clock. They might not be too happy to see us, though. We'd be lucky if that was all. Consuls, or rather Mobius, could be there too. True. Which is why, whether we follow them or not, we need to think carefully. Well, that was a big boy, wasn't it? We're definitely going to follow so it valuable. after we get the container. Definitely got to get the container first. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Come to uni. I, I'm expecting to still see it walking off, but it's like, no. It would be nice if you did see it walking around, though. Where did it go? That's the question. Where did it go? So it's like we have several things on the map right now. I can't remember which, like, which ones were there before. It's like we're heading a straight line. So that seemed to. I'm imagining over there actually looking at like there's the fact there's actually a beach we can approach from. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oop, that's not the button. That's not the button. Uh, di, 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 di. Wow, look at this. There we go. There's a campfire oh, and everything. That's a rare one. Oh, we definitely got the, the campfire. The there we rest. go. That's what I wanted. There's the question mark. Honest before, at Ishan Isle. So then, that means Mobius might be over there. They could attack us at any time. Let's proceed with caution. Ha! Visitors, eh? Hi. <gasps> He's been fishing. A sparking. Mobius? Oh, what an impulsive pair ye two make. Anyway, cool your heads and have some grub with me. What? Grub? You need food if you want energy. Don't go telling me you don't eat now. Yeah, get real. What's this deal? But you're all skin and bones, the lot of you. Right, <laughs> laddie? <laughs> all right, steady on. Anyhow, I'm not even hungry. I'm not going to bite your heads off, pipsqueaks. So he's like a pirate from the looks of it. Considering his helmet. Don't just stand there. Um, what do we do? I guess we can't just ignore him. I mean, we can. We could literally just leave. I do love the sea, so I'm taking this thing on a trip. It it is that sort of thing like like 
it does feel like he's doing something else separate from Mobius. Just this idea of like, it's, it's, it's this idea of like, he looks a bit like a pirate. He acts a bit like a pirate. Is he just not with Mobius anymore? And he's gone on his own way. Sort of like a rebel, that kind of thing. Mobius? On a trip? Of course. A man's life is a long journey. Walk your path without a destination and you'll get little encounters like this one. Yeah, uh, if you think we're going to trust a Mobius, you're off your rocker, man. Ho oh, ho! Sounds like you're an awful pickle and no mistake. What a disaster for ye. But you see, Mobius I may be, but I don't got any orders regarding ye. I'm a free agent, says I. Yeah, I thought so. It, it, I'm just, I just imagine, like, in my head it was like, there's nothing to say, like, you can become part of Mobius somehow. And then be like, you know what, I don't want to do it anymore. Anyway, there are things on the sea so tasty they'll make you weep. Along with some gigantic monsters. So I arranged for them to be here. Things you landlubbers would never dream of. You mean you're mixing the colony up in all this? Just so you can have a bit of fun? The colony is essentially his boat. Guess you're right. I just love watching the sea from a Ferranus, truth be told. Therefore, free agent that I be, I work as Colony 15's consul with a spot of moonlighting as the commander. The other Mobius tell me rubbish like your name is T. Perhaps it's fate I met up with you lot. So if you please, you could call me Captain Triton. Um, somebody tell me what's happening? Captain Triton, I get what you're saying, I do, but... Noah, you ain't humoring this windbag. Indeed. Can't listen to any words from this man's mouth. A little hat. His crazy reckless schemes will get friends dead. Smash to pieces! And what? Once I get an idea, I have to put it in motion. Otherwise, nothing around here would happen. The captain's awesome. He might be an ugly lump, but he can smash a big monster clear into next year. Well, I like a good challenge. So we spend a chunk of time going around it. Wait, who are you calling ugly? Whether they're in the sea or the sky, we find big nasties and biff them up good. Right, gotcha. You definitely called me ugly. Look, Mia, we're better off keeping away from this lot. You can't be best pals with a Mobius. Come now, young folk, you only just arrived. Fancy a little contest. A contest? The wind brings me a couple of rumors, such as all of ye being pretty capable. Seeing fellow warriors always gets me fired up. So, it be contest time. I wonder who the voice actor is for Triton here, because it's like... What you'd have to do is basically get someone who can do a Somerset accent, which is an accent in the UK, because that's roughly what Pirate is. It's like so Somerset, from Somerset. It's kind of piratey. It's like where the accent comes from. Part of it, anyway. What are you on about? No way I'm doing that! Scared, eh? Eh? <laughs> so you what? Hi, you're lily-livered! Ah. Guess Ouroboros just run away with their tails between their legs. That right? Ha! Lily Livered! Who are you calling Lily Livered? Just leave it, Lance. You're wasting your time bothering with someone like him. I want Lance to be like, what does that even mean? And who are you calling me that? What, what's going on? Must be nice for you leaving one foot out the door so the sparks won't fall on you when there's trouble. You're frightened to get knocked down, so you're making out like you're warning him. Oh. You try to save face or summit. Be you so scared of Mobius. That's Lily Livered, or my name's not Captain Triton. I'll give you Lily Livered. 
Fix! Settle then. Been looking for someone hot-blooded. Happy? Make the preparations. Meh meh. Men of the sea. Triton's triple challenge. By power vested in Appy, Appy will now explain rules of contest. Huh? You mean we're actually going through with this? Uh... Rules are simple. In vicinity of Colony 15, there are three islands. Each island have specific challenge. Team that solves challenge fastest wins points. <laughs> if that's all we need to do, this will be incredibly simple. And as, as we always say, what do points mean? Prizes. I totally thought this was going to be a big punch-up. Where's your sense of romance? Ain't no contest in a straight-up fist fight. For friends' informations, Colony 15 soldiers wait on each island to observe contest. Contest teams are... All of friends' team versus the captain and three others. Hey, so we have a bigger team. Doesn't seem fair. If ye be guests, you see, I'll accept a handicap by way of hospitality. Oi, are you having a laugh? Ignore it. He's just provoking you. A man doesn't go back on his word. Now then, all of you, get to it! Friends prepared? First challenge is at Ishan Isle. Talk to Ronya to find out more. Let contest begin! This is most bizarre. Doing it my way. This is our first time here, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Get that container. I like this guy Boy, though. I like, I like this Triton guy. Even if he turns out to be a bad guy, which I don't feel like he will. Like, it's he's still mm -hmm. awesome. Oh, shiny thing over there. Look at the cliff edge. Always which nice leads to, to a massive a waterfall. Face. Hello? But no. Right, so. Let's use that. Boop. There you are, landlubbers. The challenge for this island is simple. You've got to show us your brawn. Uh, brawn? Welcome to Men of the Sea, the brawny deep. And there... It should be like, there be beasties in this area known as Gyarks. You have to bring down for them. It goes without saying that the first to do so wins the challenge. What are you standing around for? Get to it. Get it in gear, Noah. We'll show that mudder is boss. Yep, sure thing. Right, where? Ah. There you go. New colony data. Can I just swim it out and kill it? I imagine not. Always nice to see a new face. Here we go, guys. I'll follow Wait, can your I? lead. Demon no, 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 no. Right. So I was thinking I need to get on my boat, but alright. Love it, Ashira. I'd, I'd say this has kind of let down the the quest a little bit, like this bit, like, oh. I wanted a better challenge, I wanted something to be more interesting than just going off and fighting. Maybe the other two will be. Maybe, but I've not got my hopes up now. It's like, oh. Here we go, guys. I'll follow your lead. Demon Butterfly, Slayer, come here. I've got something for you. You're on fire, lands. Fire! That's a big fish. Here we go, guys. I'll follow your lead. My question is, how do we interact Why? with the waves here? Yeah. Is there any mechanics going on? So clearly that's actually building up, but will we move up with the water when it comes in and hits us? Although it just flattened out by the time we got here, it's like, hmm. 
Do the waves always stay away from us? Okay, chop out the waves. Like, can't I swim at the wave? Is it always away from us? It looked like it might be an effect. Seeing like a certain distance away from us. Shut up about the low bloody battery. Low battery. They're literally charging you up as I'm playing right now. Literally. It's like, eh. Ten more. Ten more. Alright, fine. It still feels really far away now as a result. Yeah, terrible boat. Terrible. Oops, they found us. Demon Slayer! Demon it's sort of like you really need some like proper music. It's like I think in Pirates of the Caribbean it's where it's like dun 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 While doing this. Just feels appropriate, but no. Well, level up, ho. I'm the girl with the gall. Guess what? She is the girl with the gall. Bladder. Like the rest of it removed. You don't need it. It's it's not an organ you need. So they did remove it, but she's the one with the gall bladder. And we're done. Did we win? I saw it all. Maybe you aren't such landlubbers. <laughs> you're late, Captain. I'm afraid that means you lose. Looks like you're all mouth and no trousers, eh, Captain? <sighs> Look at you. You're knackered. Who's taking the handicap now, eh? I must have ate a bad shrimp or something. That be all. Now on to the next one. And don't ye even think about backing out now. Set a course for Daedal Oil. Who's backing out? We're the ones kicking his ass. Daedal Oil. Daedal Oil. Where's Daedal Oil? How far away is that? Over there. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like the waves are... Just an effect that's slightly further away from us because it looks like you're you've got waves going on, but it's like no, that's just a visual effect because it's like the sea is actually flat, isn't it, or reasonably flat? Hmm. <laughs> it's a good illusion of waves. Just think, is the switch can't really handle like that kind of thing. Like we're not going down right now. We're not going up. It's just simple visual effect. Like, hmm. Interesting. Like it's not Sea of Thieves or anything like that. Uh -huh. Bobbing an enemy. I should have like gone further around the island, shouldn't I? It's another thing to see it for yourself, eh? First pillar remnant. Hmm. Fair enough. Ahoy! Welcome to the next challenge, Men of the Sea Booty Calls. Bring me high quality booty and I'll judge it. Uni has the best booty, doesn't she? Booty? Exactly, I need the most valuable booty on the island. You keep using that word. Yeah, we don't know what you mean, or what's on this island. Surely you could send us after something a little more concrete. Booty is booty. If you can tell good booty when you see it, then we're done here. If you can't tell it, then we're done here. Huh? Alright, fine, we'll do it. Let's have a think, then. Uh, group talk? Yeah, group talk. Booty? Interesting news. So I need a campsite now. Is there a campsite around here? Have a little venture around the uh, island. Uh, that guy on top of that one over there. A surprise attack. Cute. Come on in. Really? Say, 
chill out for a moment. Ooh. Ooh, what's that over there? I kind of want to go look at that regardless. Huh? Is that... The bloody hell is this bug, big bug thing? Now look at that. Ugh. Uh, there's one on the wall over there. Ugh. Disgusting. It's that big cloud in the distance again. Not to worry. Just stick to Back the off, mate. Back off. I'm going to check out what the building is. So in this part of... It looks al al alchemothian, Hyentian, whatever you want to call it. Oh man, they've really gone yourself, and done eh? it now. Oh, yeah, it's like a gate good. ruins that. Hmm. Interesting. Is there any way to get it up there, though? Whoa! Got you itching to get wrecked! Hmm. <laughs> There's a line of them over here. Watch out, guys. We're coming through. We're coming through. Oh my. We're still coming through. We're still coming through. Eternal canopy. Oh, this feels weird. So I recognize this place and it just feels weird. Very weird. Could get the thingy, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna head over here. It's like, yep. This bit feels very familiar. Ooh, so weird. Ready or not? And then we go from a Xenoblade Chronicles 1 thing into a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 thing. Oh, bloody hell. Like, this fucking huge things everywhere. Oh god! Touchdown. I really take sides in that. Oh my! Uh. Level seventy three. At least I've got a place to level up later if I need it. Like, like thinking like end game type stuff. Say, so, oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear. We're not meant to be here, but I'm still going to explore. Get the stuff over there, can't we? Maybe? No? No. Watch out for you and your big arse. Get a look at his arse. I don't feel like there's anything special here. Ooh, maybe we can get that container. Maybe. It'd be rude not to. It would. So right, we'll have that stuff. Right, seeing as we've pretty much met a dead end there, let's actually. Where was the campsite? I found a camp at one point. Just go there. We'll just go there. That was it, wasn't it? Yeah. You need just standing on the fire there. I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me. Alright. Might get sand everywhere though. Booty! Um, about that thing. Not 100% on what booty is. Is it like treasure? Yeah, maybe something shiny? Somebody will find that valuable, probably. Hmm, good point. I think you might be onto something there. Something valuable, like something that's been around longer than us? Like a hundred times older than us? Like what? Are you saying a handful of rocks is more valuable than us? Friend's wrong. Treasure is clearly food so delicious it makes whole face fall off. I don't know. Food's kind of subjective. Different people like different things. Don't think we're going to agree on anything. Instead of finding out what's right, why don't we just collect everything? It's so simple. I love it. Let's get a wriggle on. Get a wriggle on. Oh dear. 
need to see about Connor in the 11th future at some okay. point. Next on the list is... Finding that booty. Oh, not bad there. Like, we're quite close to that. That's cool then. It's worthwhile going off and doing a little bit of adventuring. There's our boat. Unless it's someone else's boat. It'd be funny if like, we keep thinking like, Hey, that's our boat. There it is. Let's go get it. And it's actually someone else's boat. And we keep stealing other people's boats and just stranding them on islands. Be a funny thought. Be a funny thought. It looks like we were meant to go around the island. And come up to and get that. Because it's like a viney thing there. Um, yeah, I'll go there. Don't worry, mate. We're finding that booty. Shall we deal with this? Yum Yum Coconut is one of them. Just looked at the list like, what? Good old Yum Yum Coconuts. Uh, hey, that's the thing for the stuff. <laughs> the thing for the stuff. Like, you know, the, the one. The, the, um, hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The thing. Ow. Pain you must feel in your knees and ankles there. It's like, oof. No thank you, no thank you. Look out for the giant bug thing. Look at it, it's huge. Freaking huge bug. Blech. Stupid bugs. This would be our target. All right, so let's go back quickly. Hand in the boat, hey. We found that booty. We're back with the booty. Oh, that was fast, but then what did I expect? All right, let's not waste time. Show me what you brought. Found these three things, but now wait a second. Mate, rude. What I asked for you for was booty of the highest value. Whichever way you slice it, there's only one most valuable booty, not Two, oh, because it's raining. Two and certainly not three. So, like, suddenly went slightly yellow. Or slightly greeny yellow. So, please pick one of them and pass it to me. Awkward, what do we do? Go with the fossil. This is what we've picked. Get a load of that. Oh, -ho, interesting. Yeah, they be here first. All right, beef. Taking it easy, are we? Unlike some people, I have a more discerning eye and take my time with things. Anyway, what have you got there? A rock, is it? Ha ha ha! You reckon you'll beat me plonking down a little old rock? Say that again. This is what I brought. Any fool could see it's bigger. It's not the size that matters, mate. It's how you use it. Whoa. That is pretty big. Oh, good choice, Captain. This local fruit is said to be jaw-droppingly delicious. Totally true. My nana could have told you that. Hmm. That'll be a win for me, then. Our guests are the winners, Captain. What? I did ask for the most valuable booty. What our guests have brought sells for ten times more than that coconut. <laughs> and while the coconut is certainly delicious, its value is only so-so. Maybe the value is only so-so, but have you seen it? Look at the size, and it tastes fantastic. Bigger be better than smaller, says I. It's worth more in size, therefore I win. Friend right! Taste alone make it bestest treasure. 
Hey, whose side are you on, Shortcake? Manana will not make fibs. Tell Manana what more important than deliciousness. Money so you can buy some more deliciousness. Mm-hmm. You can't say fairer than that. I win. No, you did not win. Just man up and accept you lost. Captain, accepting defeat is part of being a man of the sea. Yeah, low battery. Ugh. You've really got me over a barrel here. Well played. But the next one's gonna be mine, you'll see. Yeah, but then we win, because it's two or three. Come to Cape Arcafor. I'll give you a damn good thrashing. Oh. That man is a few screws short of Elevenis. So over there, I've definitely not been over there, so. Right, we'll be off then. Out the way. Out the way. Where am I going? Very viney over here. Steady on me. I see you there. I see you there. Very strange plants here. Yo! So much to see, huh? Oh, hi, chumps. I've been waiting. You haven't sighted Saru, have you? Saru? No, I didn't think so. Sorry. Curses. I knew he'd end up. I, I knew he'd be up to his usual tricks. What tricks? That's Saru. Couldn't find. He's a way if you nailed a map to his bum. Like go with directions, is he? If you staple it to his bum, then um, how's he going to use it? He's probably got himself ate up by some monster. <laughs> and that's funny. Saru was going to do this part next, but I can't help it if he's done a disappearing act, can I? So it's up to me to explain the next challenge. First group to track a certain monster and bring it down is the winner. That all sounds quite simple. Yep, find some big footprints. Follow them. Well, best of luck to you. Okay, then let's head out. My footprints. Do I have to interact? Got the footprints. Two sets of them. Hmm, it looks like they're going in different directions. Which way do we go? Good question. I can go left. Level 50 stuff here. It's like, ugh. Hopefully we'll be okay. We shall see. I think we got a leg it. We are gonna leg it. Is leg it a term in America? Because I know I say it a lot. Nasty, it's it's just having like, you say it. It's like, wait, I, I, I do say that a lot. God. Oh God. Oh God. Gotta be way through there. Maybe we go to the right. Maybe we go to the right. Maybe it all leads to the same place. It's like the the poison puddle is a problem. Uh, Don't mind me, okay. mate. Well, we doing this. Bloodlust in the air. What a thrill. Oh dear. Where are you going, mate? Where are you go over there? That will be a in the air. Ah. What a thrill! Good, good, good. Hmm. Ahoy, guests. What's up? What's up? We want to know what you're doing here. That's what's up. That's no good, friends. You're supposed to be taking down that monster. Oh, did I explain that to you already? No. No, you'd scuttled off somewhere, so we had to get the deets from someone else. Well, that's no good then, is it? If you waste time here, you're gonna lose. We followed the tracks here, you numpty. Ah, we got more tracks here. Oh, my. We'd better follow these then. Good luck, friends. You best not hang about, or the captain will sail ahead. 
Well, at least we found him, though. Always nice to see a new face. Just be careful of all the really high-level things around, though. Oh no! Guys, guys. It's do or die. Okay, back off, back off. Um, hi. <laughs> that thing just came up out of the middle of nowhere. Hello. Uh oh. Forty-seven. That's all right. Side eye. Uh, come here. I got something for you. Go here, I'm making one focus for sure. I aggro building. what I'm talking about. Now that was a bone cruncher, eh? Where are the others? No sign. Right, let's leg it back to the Pharaonis. Yeah. That buffoon's going to regret making fools of us. The big thing. Look at the big that's thing. That's going to be a tough fight. It is. That's why we're not going to do it. Is there anything over here? Yeah, we'll leave. We'll leave. We'll leave. There we go. I wonder if he's going to be happy with our successes. Maybe there's going to be something else going on. I'm hoping that's kind of it. Just when, ah, that was fun, wasn't it? Anyway, I'm going to join you. Like, what? It's like, oh, okay. That'd be lovely. Thank you very much. I'm hoping that's it. Because then it just makes it a nice, lovely little quest. The big lug still isn't here. No. Friends have come back before arrival of Captain. Have to say, Captain is not most punctual. Ah! Oh, don't tell me we're pipped to the post again. Captain! Captain is late! Is never a good thing to make guests wait. It was a piece of cake. Maybe we should have given you a handicap. Winners of contest are honoured guests! Man of the Sea! Triton's Triple Challenge! Part 4! What? Four. The last challenge be a good old punch-up. The winner gets, uh... What do I need? Um, seven points. What he said. Good. Now, put him up. Oh, this is taking the piss. It's called the triple challenge. Yes, we agree for once. What happened to a man doesn't go back on his word? <laughs> you be right. He doesn't. But a man always wants more. <laughs> Ugh, this clod. What crud is he spouting now? It's the same stuff he's been spouting from the start. Huh? Lance! Huh? You better pay attention. Man of the Seas, sucker, punch! <laughs> Lance! You okay? What a bloody underhanded way to start a fight, asshole! Carelessness on the sea gets you killed. A man's gotta pay attention every second of every minute. Sorry, Captain can't be stopped when he gets like this. Friends, watch out or get sucked into Captain Tornado! Oh, a snuffing sucker punch. Now you're in for it. Playtime's over, matey! Ha ha! I like you then! I take you all on at once! 
Alright, very well. Time to turn the table with round four. Need that to last. I'll start a dot. Me next. Here's our chance. Much in the habit, it's like now nah, I should have used a healer. That should have used a healer. Did I get too much in the habit? So now we got there. Let's go. Break this up. One more. Screw you, game. Again. Oh dear. Was that not enough? No. Stop it, Mother, ain't ya? Woo! Oh, yeah. You want some more? You deserve it. Demon Slayer! Driving arrows! Push of healing is also crucial. I can disappoint. because I'm trying to pursue everything else over here. So I'm using my block and stuff against him right now. What the fuck are we you? Gotcha. Gonna smash you in. How about this? Same as each. <laughs> That's the way. Right, so. 
Hmm, yeah. I'll start us off. I'll There's keep the overkill. Lovely jubbly. I'm with you. Both healers. How about this? Yeah, I know those battery. I'll throw you out. Guess everyone back for us. Hit the willy least Tight wave. Alright, coming right up. I'll start us off. More where that came from. Time for the big one. Oh. This should be our plan of attack. Okay. So we've had Lance. I need art art of subjugation. Art of subjugation. Allow me. Maybe probably should have left until last thinking about it. Depends what we got going on now, what we do. Keep hitting hard. Watch, watch me get Noah. Watch me get Noah. Take this. Yeah, bloody know it. Yeah, it doesn't matter, whatever. Everyone get ready. Only. I'm with you. Done and dusted. Bam bam bam. So it's settled, right? We totally won this bloody thing. Man, what a real mudder of a Mobius. Oh, my aches have aches. <laughs> you bested me. He ain't half strong. It wasn't exactly one-on-one. -on -one. To be sure, I'd have beaten any one of ye in a fair fight, but I feel no ill will. Been a while since anyone knocked me down. Well, I'm feeling all kinds of ill. He's nothing sucker punch me. I have a question. If you're a Mobius, you could have transformed at any time, right? So why didn't you do it? Ah, young'un. Only thing I trust are these old bones on my own two fists. In a brawl, anything else kind of takes things. Besides, using anything else be no fun at all. I feel that. I think. Ah, truth be told, I've been alive so long, I've clean forgot how to transform. <laughs> oh, for sparks, don't know why I asked. By the by, Wonder if I could ask you a favor. Come on. Think it's a bit early in our relationship for that. If I let this get away from me now, I might not remember again. I gave up thinking ahead long, long ago, see? Well then, what is it that you need? Ah, well, I want you to smash that big old shiny thing. That's your flame clock. Mate, do you even have a clue what you're saying right now? I've been waiting for this moment. For that thing to disappear, see? Are you really sure? Yeah, tear it down, says I. Well, I'm around to watch it happen. No, oh, I like him. Here we go. Left side coming off again, no doubt.
Again, from our perspective, there it goes. Just killed a few few people below. Finally, you're free, friends. Huh. I know it's a bit late to ask this, but are you sure this is okay? Now, you boys and girls might not be understanding this. I've been a Mobius for a long time, seen and learnt a lot about death. The thing with death is, it doesn't care about your feelings. It just comes when it wills. Now, I've seen people who lived short but full lives. People who cling to every last bit of life. People who are only too happy to die. I've encountered so many people, I've lost count. But good or bad, they die while I carry on. But... But of course that's going to happen, with the way the world is. If I'm going to accept things just because that's how they are, then maybe I've been living too long. Watching the way they lived, I ended up thinking, wondering what fun these people could get up to if they were free. Something fun, maybe something stupid. Fun? Sure. I think about Dougie, best strong man I ever saw. Or Serena, nobody loved to see like her. Ghoul had no equal in battle. I knew all sorts of spirited folk, but no matter who they were, the flame clock would end up being their reason for living. I wanted to do something, but not even these boat hooks could put a dent in that blasted thing. You mean you tried to do it as a Mobius? Aye, but nothing came of it. That's when it really hit home that I was a Mobius. I couldn't destroy the flame clock. And after a while, I just gave up. Isn't that ironic? Man, and here I thought you were just some giant without a thought in his head. Turns out there's a bit more to you. <laughs> it be true. Getting the old noggin going is not a skill I possess. But round about the time I gave up thinking about anything, I started hearing about you lot. About us? Yep. Some idiots going around beating up Mobius, smashing up flame clocks, things of that ilk. Need I explain any more? I knew you were the ones who could release my friends, trapped by that infernal clock. Well, we did do that. Indeed. I suppose you could say that us destroying the flame clock set your friends free. But that doesn't mean that your friends would have got the same lease on life as Mobius. You don't have come out with some tripe, Four Eyes. Four Eyes? My name is Tyon. I be talking about in here. The heart? You mean like feelings? That's right, girl. It doesn't change anybody's lifespan, but in that moment, it's the bonds between us all that changed. But you're a consul. You're telling me something's changed between you and your underlings. I think you know the answer, boy. We be equal now, not tied to each other by time, or who be above and who be below. Equal? Aye, me and ye are equals. We've had a good brawl, and now there's no grudges. So, what will you do now? Good question. I reckon I'll find the next big beastie and beat the snot out of it. <laughs> Hope you got room, kiddies. Huh? Didn't really think I'd be fighting Mobius. Ah, but I am a big boy. It'll be fine. You mean, you're joining us? Yep. I bet you feel all kinds of reassured. In a strange way, yeah. Uh, I mean, you are pretty tough. Wait, wait, wait. Did you forget we're Uroboros? And he's Mobius. You're gonna go against your own kind. Too right. You could live a thousand years and not get the chance to team up with Uroboros and take a pop at Mobius. I may like an odd scrap with some toughens. But going on some idiot adventure with them sounds fun, too. Uh, what do you think? He doesn't seem the type to have any ulterior motives. 
there's one. I've a debt to pay ye, and I've decided I'll pay it now. Otherwise, ye softies will get knocked down by the next breeze that comes along. And not because you're planning on punching us when our backs are turned? Nope. When I have a problem with somebody, I be the sort to tackle it head on. I mean, no. You definitely punched me when I wasn't looking. Have asked with your pesky details. Come on, this is a good deal. All right, you convinced me. You sure? You can't say you hate him after listening to all that. That's true. Okay, you're on the team, Triton. Glad that didn't take long. I like a good snappy decision, so I do. But if you put one foot wrong, we're kicking you out faster than you can say Ouroboros. Ha <laughs> ha! I shan't cross my heart. Just you watch, boy. I got my own special power I can help you out with. Oh, yeah? I'll keep my expectations low. Interesting. Cutting off, isn't it? Oops. Guess I'd better relay the tale to my men. Oh, one last thing. Huh? What is it now? I got feelings deep as the sea, which I like to pound into some tough enemies. Now I want to fight forever. But when I became a Mobius, that's when I realized that one human life would always have felt too short. I've lived my life in fear. Worried that it was too short. But now, a quick scuffle with ye all has helped clear things up for me. I really felt alive. Uh... I'd be grateful. Thanks to ye, I can chart a new course. <laughs> Get out of here with all that, man. Ha! <laughs> you got it! He's a nodding. In a good way. Alright, well, alright then. I got some candy special moves I want to show off. Of course it's for Lance. Alright, Triton's class. Who? Oh. Can acquire arts and skills from unique monsters. Oh, he's a blue mage. Allowing for a wide range of battle customization. Triton himself wields some unique arts and skills. Various ways to raise his attack, making him an explosive attacker indeed. However, he's also mostly forgotten the various moves he's obtained over the years, leaving him only with those arts and skills that he used most regularly. Using the Soul Hacker class. Soul Hacker class cannot set master arts and skills. Instead, they possess a special ability that lets them acquire arts and skills by defeating unique monsters. Good job I did this one as quickly as possible then. And the arts and skills can be further strengthened by meeting certain conditions. You can check these conditions from the Soul Hack list, accessing from the Heroes menu of Y. So it's like, this is Soul Hacker? Sir? <laughs> so Soul Hackers can change their role using their role skill. Keep your party for mission in mind and switch between different roles as needed. It's like, it's just Always Soul Hackers see a new face. 2. Just stack this. Is this like a rare thing? What's down this cave? Ah, lovely. It'd be it's in really the group. Lovely. Yeah, it's definitely in the group. Right, we'll be heading off then. Huh. This is this is either Soul Hackers two, Soul Hackers one, or Soul Hackers three because it's in Blade Chronicles three. I don't know. One of the th well, it's one of them. It's one of them. Um, right. So let's actually go off and get another quest done. The one we have noticed is around over here. Uh, not command, no. The hatch, though, yes. Because there was that uh, little broken thingy. What was it called? Le Levens. Or Le Levenis, or whatever. You know the one. You know the one. It was just sitting there, lying there. I mean to go have an inspection of that and see what's going on there. I'm sure they're just fine with him being around, though.
Isn't that an Agnian Levness? What's that doing in a place like this? It's not a safe thing to have in a keys car kept whatever. Even if it doesn't seem to be working anymore. <laughs> no fear, I got permission from Balearis, all proper like. Kevers, by the way. I know. So then, have you all worked it out yet? Sorry, but can we pause for a second? Uh, who even are you? Ah, oh, what a social blunder. I'm Ymir from the maintenance and development team. Oh, that's out of the way. Where was I? This guy barely even stops for breath. What I wanted to say concerns the Agnian Levness over here. Here's my question. What do you think makes the difference between Kvesi and Agnian Levnesses? Um, they have different color schemes? Yeah. Correct, but also incorrect. Pick one, mate. Right answer is their legs. Legs? I didn't know there was any difference. You see, Agni and Levnesses come with a hover assembly as a standard feature. In other words, they can float. Hmm, yes, that's true, now that you mention it. Now, this goes without saying, but the weight of a Levness airframe is considerable. Additionally, they have to carry heavy armaments. Therefore, you'd think it's crucial that they're built with sturdy legs. However, not so with Agnian ones. They don't even have legs. When they do, they're terribly spindly. Are you just saying that Agnian Levnesses are functionally better? <laughs> Though I love to admit it, the Kvesi Levnesses truly play second fiddle to the Agnian ones in this regard. That's why I made a request to the Tactician Squad that we see some proper Agnian Levnesses. I see. So you're basically using this Levness as a subject for your research. Exactly, but since their operation was rather violent, so a lot of parts got damaged and now it's almost junk. So my dream of unraveling the mysterious Agnian technology is still miles away. So I thought I would ask you. Please help my dream come become reality. I'd greatly appreciate your cooperation. Why are you asking us? We're not engineers or anything. What good would we do? No fear, it's rather simple actually. Long story short, I need more Agnian Levinus materials to run tests on. You don't even need to ca try and catch one. Just defeat Levinus's and bring back the parts. Pretty please? Do I have these already? By parts you mean literally anything? Yes, I will inspect the parts myself. All you have to do is destroy the Levinus's with wild abandon and nab me them pieces. Oh, I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but I only have need for of Agnian parts. Please don't forget. Yes, we covered that already. We'll bring some back for you. Do, 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 do. do we have enough already, though? Because we could do. Waiting has the progress. What will we hand in over? Well, clearly we've not got enough, so we'll make a cut now until I've got enough. You kept me waiting. How's progress? Got the what stuff, mate. Got the, the stuff. Ooh, generator. There we go. Hundred percent. Wow, great job, I'm impressed. This is more than enough samples for me to carry out my analysis. Let me get straight to it. Look on then. Oh my, of course. So that's what it was. What? Do we have a breakthrough? Yes, good news. Thanks to all the parts you brought me, I have arrived at a highly accurate hypothesis. Care to share? Yes, to put it simply. When concentrated energy obtained from ether is made to circulate the gaps in the airframe support structure, it disperses, creating a field which powers the lifters and balances and gives the levness the lift to support its weight and... Ah, uh, yeah, cool, I see, we get it. That'll, that'll do now. If you, can, if you understand the mechanism now, do you think you could get... Kvesi Levnesses to levitate as well? Theoretically, yes. Given access to infinite time and resources, that is. Neither of which you have. Naturally. So, I think we'll try and restore this Levness as a way to test my hypothesis. If I can get it up and running again, it will prove my hypothesis correct. Right then. I can't carry on like this. I need to make an official request to Dinzel to use some developmental resources. 
things are going to get much busier around here. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh. Well, at least he's happy. And I hope you're happy, because we're ending this part here. We'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.